everyone, welcome to The Little Gym at Home, week five, parent-child edition. This week's theme is homebodies. Home, because we have all been at home for so, so long. Bodies, because we are going to focus on body part awareness. Um, so it's important for your kids to know the names of their body parts. However, it's also really important for them to know the what and the where of their body parts. So for example, um, as kids develop uh, a sense of where their body parts are in relation to, well, their other body parts, they begin to develop a sensory map of where their bodies are in space. For example, I can't see my feet right now, but I know that I am sitting on them and they are slightly behind me. So all of this relates to your child um, in that it helps them move through their world efficiently with balance, control, and agility. So today um, for our lovely lesson, um, you are going to need some sort of stick type situation, a uh, wooden spoon, even a broom handle. Sounds extreme, but you'll understand. Um, a bean bag or rolled up socks will work out great uh, of all. Um, some shakers, uh, if you have them, and some, uh, some bubbles. I almost forgot bubbles. And of course your child. This is my, this is my child for today. So speaking of shakers, I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna get these out of the way. We'll get those later. I'm gonna grab my shakers. If you don't have shakers um, at home, you can use bean bag, you can use rolled up socks, you can <laughs> touch body, different body parts with your hands. But we are gonna get started and I'm gonna shake my shakers on my knees. And then I'm gonna shake them on the shoulders. And then I'm gonna stretch and shake them all the way out to my toes. And of course, shakers on our bellies. And shakers behind us on our backs. Um, shakers on top of our heads. Shakers on our elbows. Elbows. And shakers on, I'm forgetting body parts. How about shakers on our fingers? Fingers. Here we go. And guess what we're going to do? We're going to keep shaking our shakers. Or you can clap your hands and join me in singing the hello song. Here we go. Oh, everyone, please shake your toys and sing along with me. How do you do, little kids? How do you do? How do you do, little kids? How do you do? Oh, you come to gym for fun and we'll get you on the run. How do you do, you little kids? How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Yay, that was beautiful. And again, for all the big kids out there, I see you. All right, so now it's time for us to say hi to everybody. My name's Teacher Allison. This is my friend, Mr. Moo. And today we're gonna do something silly. We are gonna give each other high fives using different body parts than we normally would. So today, Mr. Moo and I are gonna give each other a foot five. Here we go, Mr. Moo. Ready, set, boop, and four to choose from. Lucky me. So now it's your turn. Tell us your name or have your parent say your name and get creative in your high fives. Maybe an elbow high five. Maybe a booty high five. Let's see it. That was amazing. Nicely done. And now it is time for us to get moving. Here we go. Stand up on our feet, and I'm gonna move Mr. Moo over to the side for a second. He's gonna watch me and be very supportive and encouraging of this warm up. So, we're gonna do some different locomotor skills, and in between each different locomotor skill, we are going to try some different gymnastics body positions. Are you ready? I can't hear you. Are you ready? Nice. Here we go. Eventually. Here we go. 
Make sure that they are working to keep their arms nice and straight. Here we go. Donkey kicks. socks or I don't know a t-shirt in a tiny ball you figure it out we got this so we are going to follow the directed music this is a really fun song it's one of my favorites however some of the activities are really tricky and I will tell you the song moves very quickly so we will do our very best to keep up I will probably be modifying the activities right along with you um, so let's get moving and have some fun here we go Eventually. Okay, got it. I got a little bit. I love it. I can't help it. 
situation. It might be a tabletop with a beanbag on our tummies, or you might actually be rocking the crab walk. So here we go. It's on my tummy. Then I'm going to put my feet in front of me. Hands behind me. situation and we will get started shortly okay so our first exercise is a really fun kind of silly one that is amazing for helping develop grip strength it is called the drag race so have your child sitting <laughs> in front of you and then have them hold on tightly to the stick whether it's a stick broom handle whatever and you wanna try and avoid putting your hands over theirs to help them grip. We want them to be gripping as much as possible on their own. Unfortunately, Mr. Moo does not have fingers or opposable thumbs, so I will have to go against my own advice and put my hands over his. 
and the drag race is exactly what it sounds like. You're just gonna gently pull your child around. You can do it in a zigzag pattern. You can do it slowly. You can do it super fast. You can do it down the hallway. Drag racing, just exactly as it is as cool as it sounds. So if you find your kids are unable to hold on, just have them lay back and give them a little stretch without actually dragging them around. And then as they get more comfortable with what's happening and more familiar, they will start to hold on tighter. Have fun. And remember, our number one rule at the little gym is be safe. Please be safe. Thank you. All right, our next activity, excuse me, exercise is still with the stick. And this is a full body hang. So you wanna hold the stick up so that your child has to reach up for it. Oh, here you go, Mr. Roo. Oh, you got it. And then, again, please don't place your hands over theirs. We want them to be doing all the work, holding on. Um, so again, if they are just being pulled gently up so they're on their tippy toes and they're still holding on, that's amazing. If they're still gripping, you can even try lifting up just a little more. Pretend this is like a, at least a two and a half foot toddler and we're going up. Oh, it's a great arm workout for you, but again, safety first. So please don't lift your child more than an inch or so off the ground because we need to be ready for them to let go when we are least expecting it. All right, let's give it another shot. Ready, here we go. Holding on tight, we're going up. Up, gripping. I'm gonna be so buff after this. Yes, and then gently back down. All right, Whew. give yourself a hand after that one because parents, you deserve it. Kids, way to go. You are amazing. And for our third and final full body exercise, we're gonna do some sit-ups. And by we, I mean hopefully your children. So if you have them laying down in front of you with their feet towards you, and then hold the stick, have them reach up and grab onto it, and then just like a regular sit up, except they're holding onto the stick, you're gonna pull, oh, nice core strength, Mr. Moo, and then gently back down. Okay, and then we're going up. Here we go, hold on tight. Oh, feel the burn, and then back down. Okay, what do you think? Can we do one more? We got this. Here we go. Oh, whew. All right, and gently let go. Give yourselves another big hand. So those were our three full body exercises today. You guys will never look at your broomsticks the same way again. Nicely done. Okay, everybody, you know what time it is. It's time to play with the balls today, the balls today, the balls today. Time to play with the balls today in your house. Okay, so today we are going to listen to a directive song. It has a very positive message and will also give us a couple of different activities to do with the ball. Rolling, throwing, etc. Have fun, watch out for the furniture. Here we go. All right. Hi parents, I know we've all got the sticks and stones message in some form or other while we were growing up. According to professionals, this is not a great message to give to our kids. So please listen, <laughs> have fun, fun, and enjoy the activities. Here we go. Roll the ball to your child. Rolling. Sit down. Mr. Moo is really good at getting the ball when he told him. Not so good at rolling it back. But that's okay, because we're all just trying our best.
You got this. Way to go, everybody. them on a toe. Whoa. It's trickier than it looks. How about some big ones? Can you catch it on your elbow? Did you guys see that? That bubble bounced <laughs> off my elbow. Can you catch it with your fingers? Here we go. Fingers. How about, can you catch a bubble on your belly? I think I can do it. Bounce off my belly too. Um, can you pop a bubble with just one finger? Pop, 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 pop. Hmm, now you, t you show me, you show me a cool trick. What's the craziest body part you can catch a bubble with? Within reason, everybody. All right, how about my back? Boop, there it goes. All right, nice work with bubble time. And I'm going to say bye bye to the bubbles. You know what that means. It means it's time to come and sit in our circle. And it's time to sit in the circle again, circle again, circle again. Time to sit in the circle again at the little gym. All right, once again, give yourself a great big hand. This was super fun. And some of the activities we did were pretty tricky. Way to keep up, way to try your best. And parents, thank you for um, going for it and trying some new things with myself and your kids. Um, one thing that I would encourage you guys to do throughout the week is whenever an opportunity presents itself, just touch a body part and say the name. Head. Back, hand. Just that continual reinforcement is a great way for kids to start to learn that body, those body parts, and again, understand where their bodies are in space in relation to both their own other body parts, but also their surroundings. Um, and before I forget, we have a fun song. I think you guys all know this one, so feel free to join in. Well, head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Here we go. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes, and ears, and mouth, and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Yay! That was beautiful. Thank you for joining me. I look forward to virtually seeing you all next time. And hopefully we will see each other in person in the near future. Okay, everybody, here we go. It's time to sing the Pi song.
at home. Thanks everyone. See you all next time.